Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of uh, the Galaxy S2 and today I'm going to talk about um, the new Google Chrome uh, browser that just got out on Android for Android 4 now and higher. So uh, this is my my Galaxy S2 uh, running some self-made build of Cyan Engine mode. So this is very similar to the latest, the latest build um, Codeworks did. Uh, the latest one from uh, 31st January, if I remember correctly, uh, with the LPB Samsung kernel. Unfortunately, we don't have a source. We're waiting on them really, really bad, and uh, we really hope that Samsung, Samsung will move his house to to give us some source. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and open up the Chrome browser. So, uh, as you can see, it's really, really fast. Uh, the scrolling is a little bit jittery. Jittery. I don't know if it's really if it's really, if you can really see it on the video, but it's really really jittery. Um, I think it's a, it's a bug on Chrome, and it's gonna be fixed really really soon. Uh, apart from that, the browsing is really really smooth, uh, really close to what you can get on your computer. So let's just browse to in gadget. There we go. And uh, it's already loaded. It's really really fast, really really smooth. Everything loads really really fast. It's just amazing compared to the, to the stock browser. So um, just as an example, I'm going to do ACID3 test. There you go. And, uh, 100 out of 100. So just as a comparison, I'm going to load um, EN gadget on the stock browser, so as you can see here, it's really, really fast, so in almost a second, even less. So I'm going to just copy the URL and paste it into the default, uh, default browser, if I find it, here we it. So I'm going to just do this. So unfortunately, I can do a side-by-side -side comparison, just go back into the video, and here load it. As you can see, it takes a lot more time to load the images and such. Though the, the rendering is still pretty fast because we have a really nice dual core beast here. It's really amazing. Um, also, one cool thing we got on Chrome is that uh, we have uh, the ability to synchronize our um, current tabs and uh, favorites directly from uh, your Chrome on your computer. So just set up your account and then you connect up to Google Chrome and you just set up synchronization, Chrome to mobile and such, and you can directly send links to your phone reload tabs from the computer and such, it's uh, definitely wonderful. Um, also, the other little thing that is really cool is the uh, bandwidth management. So actually you can, on Wi-Fi and or on 3G, 3G you can preload uh, the, the pages, so it even loads faster. Um, also one cool thing is that you can enable USB debugging on Chrome, and now you have a little help to explain you how it works. Uh, basically, this allows you to open up the developer tools on your um, computer, Chrome, and just use the developer tools with a page loaded on your mobile phone. So it's just something really, really useful for web developers, and I think a lot of you are going to use it. Um, anyway, so here are the versions that are in. So it's Chrome Beta 0 0.16 and uh, JavaScript V8, as you can see. So sorry it's in French, but I'm too lazy to change into English just for this video. But well. <laughs> so anyway, overall it's really really cool. Um, let's quickly do some uh, some browser mark maybe. Here we go. So actually the, the video rendering uh, test might be a little bit wrong because uh, as some of you might know we have some video uh, decoding issues in the Galaxy S2 because we have some troubles getting the getting the drivers running, getting the EOMX running probably <coughs> sorry. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the test just finished and we are at 105,000. Uh, 105, uh, I just ran also the, the test on the classic browser. The classic browser just get a little bit more 
But I guess that's uh, due to some flaws in the beta of Chrome, and uh, I think it's gonna be better over time. But overall, um, as all as all benchmarks, they are really different from uh, the real real experience you can get from using your phone, using your browser. And as you can see, loading pages in Chrome is just way more faster than anything else. Uh, let's just let's load in and know. Um, Uh, maybe Android Central. Yep. Google search is really just instant, and loading the page is really really fast. Here we go, and the whole page is immediately accessible. Alright, so that's it for this uh, really short pre preview of Chrome for Android. So again, running on the Samsung Galaxy S2, running CyanGen Mod 9. Um, it's based on Android 4.0.3. Uh, we were waiting on Android 4.0.4 uh, sources, so we can provide you some ROMs based on it. But uh, since we don't have the sources yet, we can't provide you anything yet. So hopefully uh, Google's going to release it in the next couple of days, and we're going to compile and uh, make you available some builds. Alright, uh, thanks and uh, have fun!